Today's video is on jelly printing with eucalyptus leaves and desert honeysuckle. I'm also going to deploy a couple of my favorite printmaking, mark making tools. Um, I've got eucalyptus leaves here, which I got from Trader Joe's. I've got desert honeysuckle, which is uh, from my front yard and I'm aware that you might not have desert honeysuckle but what do you have that would be fantastic to use in your prints that's really what this is all about uh, also I've got this cut glass from um, that I found in a thrift store which I've used again and again it just it's one of my favorite tools out of all the glass that I have purchased this one I come back to time and again. And I did have one viewer who, who said she couldn't bear to use um, her mom's glass, but it, it cleans right off. I mean, it, it will clean right off. I just let it sit in a little bit of um, Germax and then it'll, it'll just peel right off. Uh, also this lipstick holder, which you've probably seen before, um, which I got at the dollar store. And I love this. And also I got more than one because it's really great for holding your sprays and things and storing them top down. And also uh, one of the first things I discovered and one of my favorite things, a um, trivet for making a uh, print, a honeycomb trivet. All right, so let's get started. So I'm working with leaves today. I'm back to my one of my favorite shapes, which is eucalyptus leaves, and doing some kind of botanical and nature shapes underneath for patterning before the eucalyptus goes on top. And um, I was just fooling around doing that, and I, I came up with this, I just, love this so I'm going to try and recreate this and then do the eucalyptus on top of that using primarily rice paper today and these leaves from my yard this is the one blossom I used already of course you don't have unlimited time to use the leaves and blossoms because they get too floppy or to dry, and I don't think I've ever mentioned that before. I just assumed that you would not use dry leaves on the plate because they will just crush. So your leaves need to be fresh. And in a situation like this, the leaves need to come off so that they can be flat up against the plate so that you can get a good impression. Because if you press this down, it it will not, well, it won't give what I want. So I shouldn't say it won't give you what you want because maybe it will. So that was uh, gold and titanium white, um, iridescent bright gold, golden. And I'm using rice paper and we'll just get a base print here. Oh my goodness, somebody's at the door. All right, good. That's that sort of pale yellow, butter yellow color that I wanted. All right, so a little bit of teal, a little bit of quinacridone magenta, and some white, titanium white. Okay, so from here, um, it's a little bit fussy, but I do love the results. I'm going to lay the leaves on in patterns that appeal to me, to my eye. Uh, let's see, this is a little bit fat, but we'll, we'll see what we get. <clears throat> and then I just love the glass kind of peeking through. Uh, some of the leaves. Oops. And then we'll do just a little bit of this also. 
for good measure. All right, and take our butter yellow and go over this. Now, to get the effect that I had on that first print, I know that I need to take the leaves out and press the print back down or else it's simply vacant. You know, just a shape there with no um, actual leaf veins. So there you have the leaf veins. I'll show you more closely. So just the shape and then the veins. Wow, <laughs> I found something new that I love. All right, so just the shape and that might work for that, but I'm gonna go ahead. Now that might work for the flower uh, to just have the shape. I realize it's a little bit fussy, but boy, I sure do like the result. I almost don't want to print over that. You see how fun that is? Oh my God, I just love it. All right, but um, we can't get stuck in fear and not being able to move forward. So let's just go now really dark, but this is phthalo turquoise and we will put the eucalyptus over the top of that and see what we get. <clears throat> okay, and again with the uh, eucalyptus, um, you can decide if you want the leaves to, if they're a pattern you like or if you need to shift it. And use this one, go over this. Wow, very cool. Okay, uh, let's do one from. Uh, oh, we gotta. I'm forgetting about my ghost now, which is should never forget about the ghost. Use titanium white. I'm actually hearing unusually. I'm hearing uh, Titan Green Pale, which does not want to come out, and iridescent bright gold. Okay, so an interesting ghost feels oriental to me. Let's just take a stab at going dark to light. I'm feeling inclined to do some uh, interference pigments. So this is carbon black, phthalo blue, ultramarine blue as well. paper put it side down and that is a moderately successful dark background uh, I feel like I need to pick up some of these spots on the um, plate here where the paint is sticking And we'll do the patterning uh, again. We'll do interference over that. All right, let's go with blue. Interference blue and interference violet. <clears throat> oh, I'm gonna do this first uh, this time because it was harder to work around the 
the flowers and such last time. This is uh, fussier than I thought I wanted to be, but I do love the effect, so I guess it's worth it. Let's see what we get here. Uh, that's harder to see with the interference, for sure. Well, I think I'm going to leave that. Um, I'm going to leave that off. And that too. I think it's at this. This it's actually better to see the whole shape. Let me show it to you this way. So leaving the silhouette this time I think is better. Okay, so I'm going back with the iridescent bright gold and the titanium white. And weirdly, I think just a teeny bit, no, it's not yellow, it's um, quinacridone nickel azo gold. And then um, as I brayer that, I'm going to um, brayer off on my, my uh, honeycomb here and then use that on here. Yep. Okay, good. Super subtle. All right, so then we can put our eucalyptus on. <laughs> I don't know how I want to put it on here. There we go. I kind of want to see some of that. I don't want that all covered up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Wow, a stunner. Okay, well, that was super fun. Um, wow happy with that really happy with that one and we have a beautiful opportunity here for a ghost print um you know what though i think i need to let it dry so i'm gonna let that dry for just a minute okay i think that was like about three minutes so let's pick this up uh, and that'll be our finish with some quinacridone nickel azo gold some quinacridone burnt orange and then some Van Dyke brown hue. Okay. I think I'm going to pick this one up with copy paper and maybe use it for a note card base. Uh, the rice paper just is harder to work with uh, for the note cards. All right, so there's the ghost. Um, it's not a showstopper, uh, but I think it'd make, make a really nice base for um, something on a note card. All right, so uh, definitely this is my favorite, and I'm super happy with that. This is probably second, second place. <laughs> and this ghost print, third place, but I think it'd be fun to uh, make something with them kind of together. Thanks so much for watching. It's Vicki Reed with Paint by Heart, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.